This week I was shocked. An OT because two of the most morally devoid men on the planet sat down to chat about nukes, if that was indeed the content of their chat. But because of the way the media responded to it. Illustration, John Shakespeare photo, like many people around the globe, I watched the meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong un with bated breath, checking the updates online every 10 minutes, clambering for my headphones on the way home so I could listen to Radio National's take on it. But I wasn't following the meeting filled with warm fuzzies, hoping for world peace. I was watching it like I watch a horror movie when I know someone is about to get killed or like I watch a cringe-worthy Tinder date at a bar. With a sense of dread and a sort of predictable acceptance that something bad will come from this. But when the deal of the century was done, when that flaxed paper was signed by those two little hands, the media had the opposite reaction to me, it erupted into a sort of optimism frenzy. It's unlike anything I can remember in recent times. Radio presenters had light and excitement in their voices. Newspapers and online media proclaimed a truly historic event. There was a genuine sense of hope in the air, not in the real air, because not many people in real life particularly care. But in the media air. The media has kind of balanced out a little bit since that first rush of infatuation for the new couple. But still, it has got me thinking did the media's rose colored glasses encourage us, the public, to gloss over what is really going on here? And are we missing the point?